Hi friends, Misha here. Welcome to another viewer's dream town tour video. Today we are dreaming of the sleepy, dreamy town of Polenta. Uh, this town is by Tumblr user Milkweed Mare. I've got the dream address for this town um, and the creator's Tumblr down in the description box below. So you can visit along with me while you watch if you want. Um, or you can just sit back, relax, and enjoy. Uh, this is a summery exotic surf island that has three human residents, Mayor Miki, or Mickey, not quite sure how to pronounce it, the mayor slash radio host, Kyle, the convenience store worker slash wannabe DJ, and Maya, who runs the internet cafe. And there's a secret spot you'll find if you go off the path. And I do love going off path in these videos, I'll tell you what. So that'll probably happen. We'll probably find that secret spot. Oh, and this is looking... So pretty and tropical already. Let me throw on my QR code dress, take off this little sleepy cap, and get to exploring. Which way should we go first? Oh, this looks so cool. Clearly this town is hacked, and that is A-OK -okay with me. I do dream town tours of towns that are hacked. I do ones of towns that are not hacked. It's a, just a big mix, um, and I don't have any preference on which ones I visit and which ones I showcase. If you submit your dream town to me, you have just an equal chance as everybody else of getting picked for these videos, and I don't scout these dream towns before I start the actual tour. Um, this is my first time seeing everything just like you guys, unless you've happened to visit this town before. But like I said, dream address is in the description box below, and let's see what villagers are here before we start exploring. So Shep is up there on the beach all by himself. We'll have to go see him. Uh, there's Jitters, Shari, June, Maddie, Ozzy, Flora, Tangy, and Keaton. And they're all, a lot of them are situated around the town plaza here. Very cutely designed. Um, I don't even know <laughs> which way we should go. I guess let's go south um, and explore this southern area down here, and then we'll just go up the beach um, and go see Shep, and then make our way through the north of town, and then through that kind of like eastern area where most of the houses and, and shops and whatnot are. So these paths are really nice, look like wood board designs, makes me feel like I'm like walking on a boardwalk in a in a beach town or something and i've never seen these designs before either oh this looks so cool the little villagers just walking around the neighborhood the message board here oh and these paths are cute too just uh more more wooden boards same design but spaced out more to look look more natural and I love the colors, the mix of the palm trees, and all the colorful flowers, and the... Oh, what are these bushes called? Um... Uh-oh. 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 I'm already gonna... <laughs> I swear, I Google something every single Dreamtown video, and I can... <laughs> we haven't even made it... Not even four minutes into the video, and we're already, already Googling something. Um... ACNL bush types. Oh, I forgot to close. I have my window open right now. Sorry if you hear trucks driving by. Hibiscus. They're the hibiscus bushes. Gosh. How could I not think of that? Oh no, while we were idling we got stung by a mosquito. Itchy, itchy. Yeah, this is so cool. Oh, here's a solar panel. Oh, hats off to this town being powered by solar energy. It's a tropical town, so that Makes sense. We got a little orange pinwheel here. I love it, and I love the uh, like the feathers and the little items sitting on the on the ground and all the clovers. Oh, here's a grove of banana trees. Love this. And if you guys want to see your town in a video like this, just comment your dream town info below. Uh, to, I just need to know your town name, your dream address, a brief description of your town. Um, any specific rooms that you would like me to visit. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Um, any specific rooms or houses you want me to visit in case you have a lot of fully expanded houses and I might not have time to get to them all. Uh, just let me know what rooms are, are your favorites. And any social media you would like me to credit as well. And look, their dock is down here in a... Um, I don't think this is a natural area where the dock can be. I think this is... 
I mean, obviously there are two rivers in this town, so the map has been edited, so this is not a naturally occurring map or anything like that. It's been uh, altered in the save editor, and I think the dock has been moved as well. I think the dock pretty much always has to be in the same place for every town starting now, but you can move it in the save editor. You just have to do it very carefully. Oh, and these are like, um, like surfboards, boogie boards, whatever you call them, um, laying out on the beach for residents and visitors to use. I love it. And up here this is our boy Shep, all tucked away back here. Let's let's pop into his house and tell him hello. I don't see why not. And even if you've commented your Dreamtown info before, uh, please comment it again below if I haven't visited your town yet. I would really, really love to, and I only pull Dreamtowns uh, for these videos from my most recent Dreamtown video. So even if you've commented your Dreamtown stuff before, just copy and paste it, post it again below. Um, I get, you know, several comments on every video with Dreamtown info, so... I, I do eventually want to get to all of them. I'm going to be doing these videos for a very long time, at least until Animal Crossing Switch comes out. There's the train. Hi, hello. Um, you're here sightseeing. We're seeing some sights, that's for sure. Just wish I knew where we were. It's cool, though. Bah, man, I'll get used to it. That makes it sound like he's in my town or something. I don't think I've ever had him in my town. I do love Shep, though. He's super cute, and his town matches the theme very well. He's got a fan going in here to keep him cool, keep off the tropical heat. He's got a kayak for going uh, into the ocean. That's so nice. I wonder if um, the creator customized Shep's house that way. I'm not sure what Shep's house looks like. Oh, he's coming out with us. Not sure what it looks like by default. But I know in the save editor you can edit villagers' houses. I've done that. Done that myself with one of my towns. Oh, this is... I know this is just an area with bushes and trees, but it, it's so nice. It's so, so nice. The mangoes and the bananas, just the mix of colors. It's lovely. And here is the town hall. Hey, this uh, tile design is from the town that we visited last week. Um, Sidaloon, I think. Um, that I might be pronouncing that wrong now that I think about it, but it's from the town we visited last week. Um, that has, like, half the town is themed after... The moon and half the town is themed after the sun, and these are the sun tile uh, path designs that this town is using for the flag. How funny. What a coincidence. So here is the town plaza. Again, we're just, I want to make sure we don't, don't miss anything. Love the tiki torches, adds to that tropical vibe. There's the Zen train station. Again, more of this boardwalk design, which I just, oh, I love it. What is over here? I wonder, is this the secret area? Oh, cool. Uh, several of these head statues. The Mo Moai, Mo I, never mind. I'm not going to continue to try to pronounce that correctly. Um, oh, this is such a cool little area. Bamboo and flowers and eggs. Uh, I wonder if the eggs are here because these these head statues, whatever they're called, they're from Easter Island, aren't they? Um, it's where those statues naturally occur in the world. What a cool little spot. Actually, let me wander back over there once more because I'd love to get, that might be my thumbnail screenshot. My thumbnails always come from, um, oh, maybe I can, like, sneakily stand behind here and when I blow the pinwheel I can be hidden okay I'm not super hidden whatever I just take the screenshots or the thumbnail screenshots from a random part of the video I just scroll through until I find a part of the town that I really really liked or something that looks good for a thumbnail that might be a good one all right we're crossing the bridge over into this new part of town oh Loving the lights already, and here's our first character. Oh my god, Maya, I love her outfit. Look at the little sunflowers on her skirt. Vanilla, strawberry, mint. You have ice cream. I would love some ice cream, honestly. This town is making me really want some. Oh, here's another one of our human human characters. Kyle, totally. Oh, totally Kyle. Oh my god. He... It's Kyle. It's totally, it's totally Kyle from the Amanda show. I'm freaking out right now. I'm starstruck. Oh my god. 
favorite one is when uh, he said, yesterday I was getting in the shower and I saw a spider and I was like, ah, oh, spider. And the spider was like, ah, oh, Kyle. <laughs> and Drake Bell, he like broke character and he had to giggle whenever he was um, doing that bit. Oh my God. Uh, please, please tell me, please tell me there are people out there. There gotta be people out there. I know some of my viewers are younger and might not have watched The Amanda Show, but I feel like that scene has been enough of a meme. Like, it's gone around the internet enough that people would know about it, even if they didn't watch The Amanda Show. But please, I hope, I hope there's some people that also know it from The Amanda Show, specifically. Um, no shirt, no service, but this is a tropical town. Why can't you just wander into the ice cream, ice cream store? with no shirt on, nips out. I see no problem. Oh, and over here is the internet cafe portion. This is so well designed. Everything feels like it's just placed so perfectly. I love that one of the computers is on, only one of them. Like, I love little details like that where town creators, you know, yeah, go through the detail of turning just one computer on to make it look a little bit more more authentic. I love it. Um, let's, see, let's go over here. We'll pop into all the houses, I think. Um, there's only three human characters, so it's not like there's um, too many rooms to visit. Aww, and this is where you can, this is supposed to be like where you can eat the ice cream outside on the beach. This is so nice. Love the different um, patterns on the umbrellas too. Those are cute, it's very colorful. I love me a tropical town. These are so cool. And I like visiting a good mix of towns too. Um, try not to visit like too many cherry blossom towns in a row or too many forest towns in a row. I like to, like to mix it up. So if you could give me a good description of your town just so I know what I'm getting into, I would appreciate it. It doesn't give your town, give your chance, give your town necessarily more of a chance of getting picked. Um, it would just be nice to have a, a fuller description. Uh, and I, I feel like the creator has customized uh, the villagers' houses because this is, this is very similar to Shep's house. Like some of the cabana stuff. Um, the fan. It's very reminiscent. And I love the laptop back here by the hammock. That's super cute. Let's go see what's down in Maya's ba- Maya? Maya? We'll see what's in her basement. It is oh, the kitchen for the ice cream shop. Got a bunch of sweets. Some blenders, some milk, some fruits, a bunch of kitchen appliances. This looks... I, I know this is just a utilitarian room, like, you know. It's just a kitchen meant for making stuff for the rest of the house, but I, I love it. It looks great. I love that they added more, like, industrial, restaurant-quality type uh, kitchen appliances with the Welcome Amiibo update. Makes it easier to uh, design more. Yeah, you know, like commercial restauranty type places. And over here, we've got some more of these. I keep wanting to call them stepping stones, but they're not because they're made out of wood. These stepping boards leads up to the town tree here. Massive, fully grown town tree. I love the vines that get added to the town tree. Oh, and down here is the cafe right in front of the ice cream store on. They've got a little store headed pointing up to the uh, ice cream shop. And the cafe's got a yellow bench in front of it. Super colorful. Over here we've got Stonehenge. I love the flowers around this too. It fits in so perfectly. There's the classic police station. Oh, I love the flower bed right there. And then retail. Let's go into, was this, this is Kyle's house now. He's got a little, small little cabin beside Red's furniture, or not furniture, Red's fireworks stand. Oh, and so this is the convenience store that Kyle runs. Kyle's also a wannabe DJ from the creator's description. 
I love how every house has like a, this fan in it. It like for some reason really really adds to the like tropical vibe because anywhere you go in if you're like visiting a beach town they're just floor fans everywhere even if the place has AC you know you just see floor fans everywhere it really adds to the the authenticity big fan ha <laughs> get it big fan didn't even try to do that god so funny such a comedian and here is a garage this is Sorry, there's a car going by outside. Um, not a garage, um, a gas station. This is so interesting. It's a little outdoor gas station where tourists are coming up. They're stopping at the gas station convenience store, filling up their cars. Maybe they're gonna keep on driving to a new destination. Maybe they're gonna stop in this beach town for a time. All right, Kyle's got an upstairs and downstairs, I swear to God. The, I can't remember what totally Kyle's uh, bedroom looks like from the show. I feel like we only see like a teensy tiny little section of it on, on the Amanda show, but this looks exactly what I picture totally Kyle's bedroom to be. He's got his DJ equipment over here, teensy tiny little kitchen area. It's pretty messy. He's got a lava lamp. He's got some incense burning. He's got some video games. He's got several of the sloppy, sloppy stuffs. Well, actually, I guess he's just got the flooring and the closet as far as the sloppy furniture goes. But I love it mixed in with the, the tropical vibes. It's perfect. <laughs> this is making me so happy. I love this. <sighs> And downstairs, what do we got? What do we got? It's always a little bathroom, little uh, gas station, convenience store, bathroom. Can I not open the stall? Hello? Hello? Occupied? Occupido? Whatever. All right, back out into Polenta we go. Got another house to explore, more of the town to explore as well. What is over here by Totally Kyle's house? A bunny, a yellow bunny balloon. This sounds super cute. Yes, thank you. All right, where else are we going? Let's go, yeah, let's go over this bridge down here. There is a, another town tree down here. Woo, that just suddenly appeared, suddenly spawned. And then here is our third residence house. Hi, hello, this is Miki, welcome. You are super cute, I love your hair. Little star pin. And this is, oh, this is the mayor, the mayor slash radio host. Oh my God, look at this main room. Oh, I love it, it's so bright and tropical. Love the slushy machine, the kotatsu. Love the wallpaper. I love all the different the different sections. Oh, look at that shelf on the wall. The plants and the books. Oh, the pink surfboard over here. Adorable. And this is oh, this is where she hosts her radio show. This is so cute. I've never seen a, uh, a radio station be made in, uh, in an Animal Crossing town. I love that. And that is about the size of a radio broadcast booth as well. Very small, very compact. And upstairs, I would assume, yep, is the bedroom. Oh, I love the colors up here. This is a little bit more pastel. It still feels super colorful and tropical. Got some more of the sloppy stuff up here. Oh, I love the sloppy chair with this vanity right beside the, the clothes rack. That looks so nice. And this wallpaper, again, I love it. It's not the same wallpaper, just 
Again, I'm loving the wallpaper. <laughs> ah, words are weird. You can say one thing, but it comes across another way, then you mean it. Crazy. On downstairs is a outdoor and outdoor area. On a little dog house, sandy, sandy beaches, a little hammock. Oh, it's a little tanning spot. Um, that oil, I assume, is supposed to be some suntan oil. Oh, you can barbecue over here, making some nice kebabs. Oh, this town is making me hungry. I want ice cream, I want kebabs. Yeah, those are the two things I want. <laughs> Uh, all of these houses have been so nice. So nice and colorful. So well laid out. We've got just a little bit more of town to explore. I love the exterior of this house, too. Looks really nice. So, yeah, we just have... We basically just have this little area with the campsite left to see. I do believe. I want to savor it. I don't want it to end. I hope in the next Animal Crossing game they make the towns just a little bit bigger, like a couple acres bigger would would be nice. Oh, here's Franklin's table from the uh, Thanksgiving event. The water pump. It's a perfect little spot for the water pump. And the campsite, of course, surrounded by some colorful flowers and trees. Hmm. This town is like kind of energizing, like it's relaxing, but also energizing in a way. I like it. I like it a lot. Hmm. So we have explored all of Polenta now, I do believe. I really hope I haven't missed anything. I think these are just some sections of trees over here. Yeah. Really like the paths. Really like all the different colors. Um, I feel like this town has used every color of flower and they're just laid out so perfectly they all work so well in so many different types of trees and bushes bamboo so many cute villagers with such bright houses thank you so so much for submitting your town again the creator's tumblr um, is linked below it's milkweed mare and the dream address is also linked below or not linked but listed below if you guys want to visit now or at your convenience whenever you want and if you want me to visit your town in a video like this please comment your dream town info below i would absolutely love to i do these videos every tuesday so i will see you guys next week with another dream town you all have a wonderful day be kind to one another don't forget to be awesome bye